The other day I bought all of this shopping for £21 and challenged myself to make 14 meals from it. Today's meal is going to be a chicken pitta, so whack some chicken chunks in a bowl, followed by the spice mix, I've listed mine in the comments, give it a good mix up, then get some olive oil in the pan, followed by the chicken, and cook that for about 5 minutes. Whilst it's cooking, we can slice the cucumber in half, scrape out the middle like this and then grate it up, then squeeze out the juice, whack it in a bowl, and now we can season it with some salt, some black pepper, some garlic powder, and then go in with some Greek yogurt and a bit of lemon zest or lemon juice if you've got it. That's the tzatziki done, we just need to give it a good mix up. When the chicken's almost finished cooking, we can get some grated up garlic in there and cook that for about one to two minutes more. When it's ready, take it out and let it rest, get your pitta in the toaster, and when that's finished heating up, we can slice it open, go in with some tzatziki, followed by the chicken breast, and a little bit more sauce on top. That's the pitta sorted, so just serve it up with some salad and you're done. Lovely. This week's meal prep cost me $2.60 a meal. I always like to remind myself that eating healthy is often a privilege and not a choice, which is why I like to share my tips on how to eat healthy on a budget. Meal prepping might not be for you, but how awesome is it that you can consider yourself lucky to eat something different every day? Meal prepping not only is a way to help me combat my obesity, but it is also one of the many ways that led me to financial freedom. After I was seeing how much money I was saving each week, I turned it into a game and continued to meal prep. If you're struggling financially and trying to lose weight, it is possible to do so on a budget. It just takes practice and time. Like and follow for more tips and tricks. Does this fridge look like we eat the same thing every single day? The answer is no. You would only see one recipe if we were to eat the same thing every single day. If you watch to the end, you'll see far more than just one recipe, which is what you would need to eat the same thing every single day. This is how me and my girlfriend have lost 15 stone. That's 210 pounds in weight. The link to our recipe book is in the link in the bio, along with the meal prep containers. So no, we don't eat the same thing every day. If you're broke, eat this. And if you're not broke, well, baby, you can still eat this. Saute some garlic and cook until it's fragrant. Add your ground turkey and cook until most of the pink is gone. Season with sugar, chili paste, fish sauce, chili flakes, and low-sodium soy sauce. Once your ground turkey is cooked through, remove from heat and cook your baby bok choy covered for one minute. If you don't want to use baby bok choy and you want to use the regular size ones, well, you do you, boo-boo. This is your budget meals and you're the one eating it. Top it off with a fried egg, scallion, black pepper, and bam, baby, you got yourself a meal on a budget. If you really love me, fuck me like a thought. If you really love me, do what I say when you get me here. Let me dead in my eye. Get a play and I'ma set it on fire. My little bitch is a masterpiece. I ain't even gotta be funny when I'm telling no jokes. She still gon' laugh at me. Still suck my dick when she mad at me. You want to make chicken and rice that actually tastes good? I got you. Thick thighs change lives. Turmeric, allspice, cardamom, and paprika. Change their color and add salt. I like to add lemon juice and oil too. We're going to be cooking these through. 
We let these dress and drop the heat. To our liquid gold, we add a glimpse of ba, onions, peppers, and serrano, and a spoonful of heartburn. Please, wash your basmati rice. We want to lightly just toast it. Remember those seasonings we used on the chicken? Add chicken broth and bring to a boil. That's what we like to see. We're going to shut it up with a lid and drop to a simmer. Mushy rice means too much water. We want it nice and fluffy like me. I like to cube up the chicken so it's easier to eat. Tomatoes and cucumbers because we're healthy. And now we have final product. And as always, namsula. Simple to make, but flavors are complex. If you're an OG, you should remember this line. What people think when I say I eat healthy. Add a little bit of spice. Food you can eat and still lose weight. Chocolate, potatoes, pasta, nachos, cheese, roast beef, tomatoes, fried chicken, egg and cheese, chicken drumsticks, kebabs, burgers, sausage, pesto pasta, meatballs, dirty fries, hot pot, chicken, bacon, chili, or pasta, pulled pork, fish, chicken parm, lasagna, Hasselback potatoes, mince, sausage, muffins, burritos, more chicken, curry, soup, fajitas, pesto, ice cream, Big Macs, Zinger burger, kebabs, creamy chicken, nothing is off limits. It's meal prep Sunday, so I'm gonna be showing you guys what I'm making for lunches next week. First, I take six ounces of these blackened chicken strips, throw them in the oven. I use a whole bag, eight ounces of this light rotini. It's 50% less calories than regular noodles. I love this brand. Then I start steaming four servings of broccoli. For sauce for the noodles, I'm going to be using this Newman's Own. It's 50 calories per fourth cup, so I use three servings. Once that's mixed, I just use a measuring cup to evenly distribute. And then for my broccoli and chicken, I weigh the totals and then divide that by four. So I weigh everything to make sure my portions are accurate. And I only prep four meals a week because I like to leave the day open for variety so I don't get bored. Each container is only 222 calories. I do add Parmesan cheese, which brings the total to 252 calories. And that's it. Fresh garlic and shallot, olive oil, the juice of two lemons, tomato paste gets it beautiful like you. I like honey and vinegar. Seasoning brings everything to life. When you take a sniff, it should wake you up. Potatoes, not too thick, not too thin. I'm using thighs and drums. That's the wrong order. Make a bed out of the potatoes, toss on the chicken, and now we bathe it all with our marinade. She is very gorgeous already. You wanna be petty like me, re-season the surface. This needs to get covered so the marinade doesn't evaporate. And into the oven at 375. After 30 minutes, uncover it, crank the heat to 425 and back to the oven. Now, if you really wanna make this one to remember, mashed fresh garlic, add fresh lemon juice, kill the heat and add fresh cilantro. And now we have final product. And as always, now bismillah. No more. I wanna fool, 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 but I'm broken hearted. Quack, quack, quack. But I like to party. Touch, touch, touch. But I got nobody here on my own. I wanna fool, 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 but I'm broken hearted. Quack, quack, quack. Since the day we parted. Touch, touch, touch. But I got nobody, so I do it so. No. That sizzling is the sound of some delicious honey butter garlic chicken, which is a 30 minute dinner that you need to make. Start out by adding some olive oil and challenge unsalted butter to your pan. Then toss in your chicken, which has been coated in some cornstarch along with salt, black pepper, and chili powder. Now we spice things up with some minced garlic, chili flakes, honey, rice vinegar, and cilantro. And for my favorite part, we're gonna add some more butter, mix it in, and it's ready to serve on top of some rice. It's the perfect balance of sweet and savory. It's one month until my wedding, so let's meal prep together for fat loss. Breakfast is a sausage, egg, and cheese McMuffin. I like this 100-calorie English muffin. This turkey sausage patty is a nice, healthy switch with reduced fat. It's already cooked, but I like to throw it in the skillet with my egg, toast the muffin, add a slice of American cheese, and this whole breakfast is under 300 calories. Lunch is this delicious Progresso soup. They're only 200 calories a can, so you know I'm eating the whole thing. It comes in many flavors, including the garden vegetable. I'm also pairing this with an apple and my favorite, a little bag of veggie straws. 
Dinner is pork and my grandpa's sweet corn. This Smithfield is so easy to make. You just pop it in the oven and it's done. Snacks are clementines and I love these tuna packets, especially hot buffalo. And I keep track of all my meals in the One Life Planner. These bowls are the perfect meal prep meal. We're making beef bulgogi bowls. For the marinade, start by finely mincing five cloves of garlic and one head of ginger. Then add two tablespoons of sesame seeds and five tablespoons of soy sauce. Use tamari to make it gluten-free. Add three tablespoons of white wine vinegar, two tablespoons of sugar, and a tablespoon of red curry paste. Super thinly slice one pound of beef and add it to the marinade. You can leave it for an hour or a couple days. For vegetables, chop up one head of broccoli, two baby scallions, and a head of mushrooms. While you're chopping, preheat a cast iron pan and add all the sauce and beef to the cast iron pan. Cook it for about five minutes. It cooks super quick. Remove the meat, then add your baby mushrooms. Remove those after three minutes, and then steam your broccoli for around five minutes. I served everything with a little bit of kimchi, some sesame seeds, and baby scallions on top. I love to make this with rice at the beginning of the week and it takes like 10 minutes to throw together. Follow if you want to see more simple meal prepable meals. Today we're going to meal prep buffalo chicken rice bowls. Step one, make your rice. Step two, prepare the chicken. Into a large bowl, add the chicken, oil, salt, pepper, and chili powder. Bake the chicken at 425 Fahrenheit for 10 minutes, then turn it to broil and cook for an additional five. Cut and saute all of your vegetables in a large pan. I use zucchini, onion, and mushrooms. Chop the chicken into one inch pieces, then mix everything together in a large pot. Add the rice, cheddar cheese, the chicken, and buffalo sauce and mix. Divide the ingredients up evenly into your containers. I made 10. This will last my roommates and I about three days. So I just meal prepped the best chicken ever. I'm gonna show you how to make it. You just do some olive oil, a bunch of spices that I will list out, the juice from one lemon, Greek yogurt, some hot sauce, and then you mix it all up in a bowl and then lay it out on a sheet pan. Bake it at 400 for about 25 minutes and then cut it up, so juicy and good. I did some roasted veggies and white rice as well. This week's meal preps are gonna be a little bit different. I was tired of just cycling the same few meals, so I made some buffalo loaded baked potatoes. Start off with a pound of chicken in your crock pot, and then I used about a cup and a half of Frank's red hot sauce with some ranch seasoning mixed in. You could do barbecue or obviously anything else you wanted too. You just wanna make sure that it covers the chicken breast completely, and then I throw the lid on, put it on high for three hours before shredding it. It will just fall apart really easily. And then I actually put it back into the crock pot for about 30 minutes just to let all that flavor marinate. Next, I preheat my oven to 350 and I pick out my potatoes. These are all right around 70 grams. Throw them in the oven for about an hour. After they cool off, I uh, cut them in half and then I do one potato at a time. So I take out the inside. I add in one light laughing cow wedge and I weigh out 30 grams of 0% Greek yogurt. Add some salt and pepper in and that's it. You can obviously change this to your liking. Throw it back into the potato skin and then you're gonna top it with a fourth of the chicken mixture. 